Hey there, I'm Will Young from YoungMenCooking.com. I'm so glad to have you tuning in to today's episode. About a month ago, I launched an exclusive plant-based sushi making masterclass that consists of five classes to show you how incredibly easy it is to make delicious and super stunning sushi right at home. I'm pleased today to share with you a preview or the entire first class of this incredible masterclass that you'll really eat up. Of course, at the end of the episode, if you'd like to find out more information about it or take the entire masterclass, you can check that out in the link in the description box below. I sincerely hope that this masterclass will bring you a lot of value and a lot of joy in your everyday life. Welcome to this exclusive Epic Menu plant-based sushi making masterclass. This is a five class series designed and curated to help you make incredible sushi right at home. In this class, you'll learn how to make sushi rice without a rice cooker, delicious pickled ginger, and an amazing thick chickpea mayonnaise. Sushi makes me so happy. Whether you've made sushi at home or just starting out, these straightforward recipes are sure to impress your friends and family and yourself. Get ready for an incredible sushi experience. Welcome to your epic vegan sushi masterclass. Lei ho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungMenCooking.com. Welcome to this exclusive epic menu sushi making masterclass. Two cups sushi rice. Rinse and strain the rice two to three times to get rid of the excess starch. Two cups water. Medium high heat. When the water starts to bubble, turn it down to medium low. Stir and release any of the rice grabbing the bottom of the pan, then cover and cook for 15 minutes. Turn the heat off and let it steam for another 15 minutes. Large bowl. Transfer the rice to the bowl. Three tablespoons rice vinegar. Mix. Gently pat the rice to the sides of the bowl. This will help it cool faster. Now you can season the rice with some salt and sugar, but I'm usually pretty good with just the rice vinegar because you'll be dipping the sushi in some soy sauce. Let the rice cool for eight to 10 minutes. This is optional, but if you do take the time to wrap your sushi mats in some cling film, it makes the rolling much easier and the cleanup much easier as well. Bring the two sides of the cling film in and press together. Fold over and press in the remaining sides. Your mat is now ready for sushi. Right, so super simple to make some cucumber and carrot matchsticks. Top and tail off, then cut thin diagonal slices. Carefully press down the carrot and slice into matchsticks. Beautiful. Top 
top and tail off the cucumber and cut into diagonal slices. Carefully press onto the cucumber and slice into sticks. Alternatively, you can slice your cucumber to match the length of your nori. Your veggies are now ready for sushi. Now traditionally, pickled ginger is made with a young ginger which has pink tips and that's what gives it that amazing signature pink color. But of course, those are quite difficult to find and they have a short season. So we're gonna make it with this amazing, humble ginger root. Break down two large pieces of ginger root, roughly 120 grams. Peel. Thinly slice the ginger with a knife or a mandolin. Transfer the ginger to a small saucepan. Two cups of water. One tablespoon pink salt. And to get that signature pink color, we're going to add a few of these amazing dark sweet frozen cherries. Alternatively, you can add some radishes or some beetroot as well. Three frozen cherries. Medium high heat. Stir occasionally to dissolve the salt. When it comes to a boil, let it cook for five minutes. Two tablespoons cane sugar. Transfer in one of the cherries, followed by the ginger. Half cup rice vinegar. Tighten the lid and shake to dissolve the sugar. Be sure the ginger is submerged in the vinegar, then transfer to the fridge for at least 48 hours. Your ginger is now ready for sushi. It's really nice and gingery. It's a little bit salty and has that bite because it's fresh ginger and that tanginess from the rice vinegar, the sweetness from the cane sugar. But I mean, my gosh, that is just so beautiful, man. So this amazing mayonnaise recipe is going to be used as a base for the other classes in this sushi masterclass. Pour the chickpea water into the saucepan. This 400 ml can gave me about three and a quarter cups of aquafaba. Now you should be able to use homemade aquafaba as well, but I really prefer the canned ones because it's really, really concentrated and really quite thick. Medium high heat. Stir and bring to a boil. When it comes to a boil, let it cook for five minutes medium-sized bowl, couple handfuls of ice. Place on top a smaller bowl. Pour in the aquafaba and stir until cold. It's absolutely crucial that your aquafaba is really nice and cold before you start blending or else your mayo just won't get really nice and thick. Blender. 
aquafaba, one tablespoon lemon juice, one tablespoon chickpeas, one tablespoon Dijon mustard, Blend on high to pulverize the chickpeas, then turn it down to medium to medium high. Slowly pour in 1 and 3 quarter cups of grapeseed or veggie oil, you'll hear the mayo start to thicken up. When the mayo gets thick, adjust the speed as needed. With a little bit of patience, you're left with this incredible thick mayonnaise. Generous pinch of pink salt. Fold. That is really unreal. Just so fluffy. Mm. Tastes exactly like your traditional mayonnaise. That's phenomenal. Transfer the mayonnaise to the fridge and enjoy for up to three weeks. Your mayonnaise is now ready for sushi. I admire you joining me for part one in this five part plant-based sushi making masterclass. I cannot wait for us to make some sushi together.